Hey everyone, this is Daniel from AngelDial. And to start this video, I want to try and manage expectations. So all that is expected in this series is an intermediate programming skill level. Some details specific to the DeFi protocol we are using will be covered in later videos. So if some topics or things are confusing in this video, don't worry, it should be covered later on. In this series, we are going to be interacting with DeFi on Ethereum with Rust by building a liquidator bot for the liquidity protocol. To give background on what this means for those unfamiliar with DeFi, Ethereum, or Rust, DeFi stands for decentralized finance and is a new type for financial applications built on decentralized blockchains using smart contracts and oracles. These applications allow you to do things like borrowing, lending, buy, sell, offer liquidity, and earn in an open way. Because Ethereum is the most accessible implementation of DeFi, that's why we're going to be highlighting it in this walkthrough. Lastly, we are highlighting Rust because it is a well-supported and fast-growing language that has not had much or any walkthrough explanation as far as using it for the Ethereum blockchain interaction goes. Additionally, Rust has excellent documentation, is super fast, and prevents crashes, so it makes a good addition to the tool belt for people learning another language. So to get into it, for this series, the only technology you really need to install is Rust. So we're going to go to this URL and copy that line and you will paste that into your terminal and execute it and that will uh, download Rust up and there will be further documentation on that site for really just running the command to install Rust from Rust up. Next we have the Rust book and basically this gets you all of the pertinent details to I guess understand the syntax and, and language of Rust. I will include some other tutorials and walkthroughs for learning Rust, um, but it's kind of expected that you know Rust um, at at least a beginner level for this video. Um, next, this is Ethereum. And if you don't know, Ethereum is a decentralized blockchain that enables smart contracts and DeFi, which is what we're going to be interacting with. And next is Liquity, which is a decentralized finance protocol on top of Ethereum. And this is what we're going to be interacting with and using. So Liquity basically lets you borrow LUSD, a decentralized stablecoin, against your Ethereum. And it has some interesting features like a low collateralization ratio, which we will get into further later on. It has a uh, stablecoin, LUSD, pegged to the dollar, and a decentralized network of front-end operators. It's a really cool project that I definitely recommend you look deeper into when you have time. So finally, I'm going to just demonstrate like what the end result we are working towards will be. So I'm going to head over to the terminal where we're going to run cargo run. Cargo is like the NPM, if you will, uh, of Rust. So we're gonna run that, starts. It's gonna quickly execute here, boom. And yeah, so what this is basically doing, it's gathering 20 troves, it's determining the liquidity TCR and the current MCR from the TCR, and then gathering the troves by lowest CR and determining if any of them are below the MCR. And if they are, then how many of them need to be liquidated. So this is the end result that we will build with the code and we'll dive into the code in the next video. So. I'll catch you guys there.